Welcome to the 6th episode of our Meghalaya series. Over the past 5 days, we've embarked on an incredible exploration of Meghalaya and the journey has been nothing short of all inspiring. From the majestic waterfalls to the lush green landscapes, Meghalaya is unquestionably a haven bestowed upon us by nature. Today we are going to visit the famous double decker road bridge of Meghalaya. Do watch out for 10 important tips in this video. We set out for Tirna village from Cherapunji which is around a 30 minute drive. Parking facility is available near the living road bridge trekking point at a nominal cost. You will find local children selling green bamboo sticks near the parking. It is advisable to purchase one as it will help you throughout the trek. This is the entry point from where our trek will begin. We are beginning our trek now. It's 10 a.m. in the morning, and there are 3,000 steps from here. We pass through this beautiful village full of greenery and flowering plants. Take a guide and follow him. The initial descent from the road head is a relentlessly steep one. It drops to around 2,400 feet to the valley floor. The steps are quite narrow and it feels like they go on forever. After an hour, we reached the halfway point which is the village of Nongthimai. From here the trail flattens out a bit and while continuing to descend, the trek gets easier. At this juncture, The route diverges offering two options. One path leads to the longest single road bridge while the other takes us to the double decker road bridge. Considering that we have already visited a single road bridge in Molin Long, we made the decision to prioritize the double decker road bridge and then proceed towards the enchanting Rainbow Falls. We believe This order will provide us with a well-rounded experience. Upon our return, if time allows, we plan to visit the single road bridge as well. Nearly transferring. I think it's transferring. Yeah. Come, come. Along the way, we encountered two rickety wire bridges that span subsidiary rivulets. These rivulets form pools of mesmerizing turquoise blue, creating a picturesque spectacle that is truly captivating. Just before reaching Nongriat, we come across a small living road bridge. From here, the double decker living road bridge is just 5 minutes away. Finally, after climbing 3,500 steps around, we reach the double decker bridge. These bridges are created by guiding the aerial roots of rubber tree across streams and rivers to form natural bridges. The local indigenous Khasi and Jaintia tribes have been practicing this ancient technique for centuries. The living road bridge at Nongriat has two levels, apparently because the river rose so high one season that it covered the original bridge and so the Khasis had to build another one. There's a pond just below the bridge full of small colorful fishes known as golden mashir. These fishes have adapted to their surroundings and have become accustomed to interacting with visitors. 
The living root bridges are not only functional but also environment friendly. They are self-renewing and they become stronger and more robust with time as the roots continue to grow and strengthen. These bridges are able to withstand heavy rainfall, floods and even earthquakes, making them highly resilient and durable. We then continued our trek to Blue Lagoon and Rainbow Waterfalls. The route towards Blue Lagoon Waterfall follows a trail that leads further into the wilderness. The path involves crossing rickety bridges, streams, navigating rocky terrain and ascending and descending hills. Pedal, pedal. Hmm. helicopter. Yeah, it's tough. The trek towards the waterfalls can get challenging at places. After a trek of approximately 2 to 3 hours from the double decker living road bridge, we reached the Blue Lagoon waterfall. This enchanting waterfall features clear blue waters cascading down into a serene pool, creating a mesmerizing sight. If you want to enjoy a swim in this natural swimming pool, Renting a life jacket is a must. It will cost you around rupees 100 each. The water is crystal clear, refreshingly cool and delightfully pleasant, offering a soothing respite after the artist's trek. It serves as a well-deserved oasis to take a break and unwind. By the time we left Blue Lagoon Waterfalls, it was already around 3.30 pm. As the Rainbow Falls is around 1-2 to two hours trek from here, we decided to skip it and return back to Tirna village. Considering that the sun sets earlier in the northeast of India and the approximate 4 hour trek back to Tirna village from Blue Lagoon Waterfall, it is recommended to commence the return trek early to make the most of daylight. We hope you liked our video. Do like and subscribe and comment for any queries.